What's up? It's your boy Austin Donovan, Sweets Kendama legend, coming at you. Oh, let's say for a quick two seconds. All right, at least you got to see him. But we're coming at you not from the Sweets studio, but from my own home here on Long Island, New York. Today, with an unboxing. You guys probably already know what it's about, so let's get right into it. Unfortunately, I already filmed this, and I forgot to press record, so the box is already open. But. We're still going to unbox this box. Let's get right into it. And I, like I just said, as you may know what this may be already from the title, if you didn't read the title, mm, we got a whole box of Austin Donovan Legend models in the amp shape. Yes, you've all been wanting it, you've all been waiting, and here it is. Let's get right into it. Let's get these out of the box, and I will start breaking down the Kendama for you. I know that we have an unboxing for the Kendama already, but it was not done by myself, so I might be able to give a little more insight and detail onto the thought process going into the, the design of my, my own Legend model. So let's get right into it. We can start off with the box. And the box, you know, fairly basic, similar to most other Kendama boxes. I have the purple galaxy design going all around the back of it, as well as you look in the light, you can see that there's a sacred, ge sacred geometry pattern along the back of it to match my Tama, which we'll be, we will get into in a minute. The nice gold lettering on the bottom that says Austin Donovan Legend Model to match the Kendama as well. Some words from me on the side of the box, which I will not read to you. You must purchase the Kendama if you would like to read these words from Austin. Topped off with a beautiful picture of me competing in freestyle at the Sakura Classic in, Sh in California in 2019. Beautiful picture taken by the lovely Adrian Esteban. And with that, let's get into the Kendama. Let's open this bad boy up. Here we have a bunch of cushion Austin Donovan Legend models. If you know me, if it were up to me, I would play Kush and only Kush for the rest of my life. There is nothing better than good Kush, am I right? So today we will only be looking at the cushion models of this Kendama. So here we go. The Austin Donovan Legend model in the amp shape being seen for the first time. But let's get into it. Let's check out the Tama. Starting off right on the top, we have a golden galaxy space spiral. Now my initial plan for the top of the Dama was to use this. If you can see, it is a Flatbush Zombies logo. A Flatbush Zombies logo that has a swirl and a smiley face in the middle, a little bit trippy, a little bit drippy, and that was my original idea for the top of the tracking. And um, believe it or not, I did get in contact with the management of Flatbush Zombies. Um, we did speak together and it was, you know, we had a great conversation. Unfortunately, we didn't work something out for me to be able to use this logo on my Kendama, but they did say if they ever want to make a Kendama, they know who to talk to. So Flapper Zombies, if you're seeing this, hit me up. Still ready to work. So without the Flapper Zombies logo, we went with something very similar to Mash the Tama, the rest of the space theme. We want that nice galaxy spiral. Moving down the Tama, we have the purple galaxy going on, the purple space nebula, whatever you want to call it, very space themed. And the cool thing about that too is that every single one of these Tamas will be slightly different. Some of them will have more purple, some of them will have more white and white, some of them will have more molding of the colors, some special stars in there that you might see, but every single one of these Tamas is unique, at least in the space part. And now space, as we know it, is infinite. As, long, as far as we know as human beings, it is, it's infinite. We don't know an end of the space. There is none, as far as we know. So getting into that, the infinite of space matches with the seed of life stripe that goes across the middle, which represents creation. And through Kendama, I have learned that we as human beings have the ability of infinite creation. You know, this whole manifestation thing, it may sound corny at times, but I truly believe that if you set your mind to something and you emit this this positive energy towards your goals and really strive and believe in yourself that you have the ability to create anything you want in front of you in your own life. And I learned that through Kendama, so I wanted to showcase that with my design. So the main, main, main theme of this Tama is infinite creation, showed with the seed of life and the infinity of space wrapped around the uh, seed of life. Moving down a little bit, we have the Yankee Stadium facade, facade as many of you may know. 
I am a diehard Yankees fan, and baseball was my first true love. So I wanted to show that a little bit on this Tama. And that is an iconic facade design on the top of the Yankee Stadium that goes all the way around the top. And it was just, it's something that I've wanted to use for a very long time. And it fits just perfectly on this Tama. It fits really well even though the rest of the kendama is not baseball themed, except for one little part, which we will get into. The bottom, just nice white tracking just for you to see, really be able to spot that hole as it's turning around. And of course, going into the bevel, we have a 47. And as for a, a lot of you may not know, the 47 is representative of the Beast Coast, which is a hip hop collective based out of Brooklyn, New York, that consists of the Flappers Zombies, the Underachievers, and Pro Era. In about 2012, when I discovered these artists, um, they were really the first people that kind of opened my eyes and planted the seed in my head for, you know, this whole spiritual journey that I'm on and thinking for yourself and, and all that good stuff, all, all that, you know, hippie, crazy, spiritual, woo -ha. They, they put that, they put that in my head. They were the first ones to really get me to start thinking about that, planted the seed, and essentially are, they are the ones who started my spiritual journey, if you will. Um, I always say that Beast Coast and this piece of wood are the best two cheap teachers that I've ever had in my life, and that is coming to, from somebody with a college degree. Uh, also, on the Tama, which you cannot see through the design, the top of it is cherry and the bottom is beach. It is 70-30 cherry beach. I use cherry wood on top because it's a very consistent, very playable wood, and I wanted to use beach on the bottom to really lock those stalls in and to really have a nice broken in bevel as you play more. Moving on from the Tama, we have a nice purple string that connects the two pieces together. If I'm not mistaken, you should have a gold string that comes with the Kandama in case you want a little more gold in your life. There will be a gold string right in there in the extra string pack. And of course, the string, what does it do? It connects the Tama to the Ken. So let's get into that next. Starting with the sword and the woods. I wanted to use a nice maple wood up the sword. Again, just another very consistent, very playable wood for Kendama. Probably the most playable wood in Kendama. And it's just, you know, I've never had a problem with maple. I've always enjoyed playing it. So I wanted to use that for the main wood of my Kendama. I also decided I wanted to throw a purple heart stripe going up the middle of the spike, connecting at the very point. And the reason for that being is that I do not glue my tips. And the reason I don't glue my tips is because this candlestick finger balance is one of my favorite tricks of all time. And I do this very often. And with a glued tip, that makes that trick very slippery and it makes it a lot easier to fall off. So I never glue my tips. So I wanted to have a kendama that had a more durable spike without having to use a more durable wood throughout the entire body of the kendama. Also something that I realized a little bit later about this purple heart stripe going through the side, which was not intended, but when you do taps or instas, you have a much more solid contact point. Purple Heart is a heavier, more dense wood than maple. So it gives you a better point to tap and insta and do all of those nude school tricks on your Kendama. And I have noticed that it has definitely helped level up my tap and insta game, which is a great surprise to me. Moving on to the front of the sword, you have my DD Dandama sticker seal, nice and shiny and gold. As an old head as myself that started playing Kendama in 2008, every Kendama we had was covered with a sticker seal, more specifically a golden JKA seal. And JKA is what taught me Kendama, it's what gave me discipline within Kendama when I first started learning, and I'm very grateful for them and think that we should pay respect to the origins of where we come from. And this seal is very reminiscent of the old JKA seals, and I wanted to do that purposefully. On the back of it, we have my signature on the base cup, just thrown right on there, you know? Just, you know, you just gotta put the Siggy on there somewhere. And then coming up the sword, we have a sacred geometry wood burn going from the ring stall all the way up to the spike. When you're playing it, it adds a little bit of grip, but it's not too much to be overwhelming. And another very cool thing about this too, which I did have in mind, is that the little grains, the little divots in the spike will also help you with alien heads and alien body tricks. The little grooves will even sit right along that edge point where the top of the bevel meets the spike and will help you land those alien tricks. So that is also designed for playability and more towards my play style as well. On the bottom of the sword, we do have a base cup hole because I am in love with lunars. Lunar balance is essentially one of the only things I look for in a kendama when, when I pick a new one up. I don't look at weights, I basically look at how lunar honed it is. 
So base cupole was the easiest decision I've made about this kendama. Moving on to the cups. The bottom of the cups, the wood here, is maple. Again, just a very playable, durable wood that I am a big fan of and wanted to use for the majority of my ken. Uh, moving up a little bit, we have a purple heart stripe going through the middle for the same idea that it is a heavier, more durable wood and will give me more lunar balance. Uh, one of the things that I do when I take a kendama out of the box, instead of weighing it, is I will take the lunar, put it in inward lunar, I will hold it horizontal, parallel to the ground, and let go. And you see how it fell forward that way instead of falling back? That is one of the only things I look for. And this purple heart stripe helps give it that optimal lunar balance right out of the box without playing it, without needing to push your cups down. Ready to go right away. Moving up along the cups again, we have this beech wood right here, which will break in and be a lot softer than the maple and will give you ultimate hone abilities for those stalls, a set especially when that beach on the bottom 30 of the Tama breaks in. Coming along on the laser engravings on the top here are baseball scenes. Going back to me saying that baseball was my first love, my first passion that I had in life. And I'm very grateful for baseball and I think that me playing baseball my whole life definitely helped me in Kendama, helped me progress in Kendama and there are specific little things, for example, fielding a ball at third base and finding the seams in my hand before I throw the ball. You know, that helps me in Kendama when I'm doing a juggle and my hole is in the wrong spot and I need to adjust it so the hole is up to catch that airplane. Little tiny things like that, I thank baseball for helping me learn that about Kendama and helping me progress in Kendama and use my mind in ways that, you know, other people may not, may not think about. And a cool thing about these baseball seams is back when I was in high school and I graduated in 2012, I used to draw uh, kendamas. I used to draw my own kendama designs in high school, fantasizing about one day creating my own model. And these baseball seams are probably the only thing that has lasted since the early days of high school. And like I said, I graduated in 2012, so this is more than 10 years ago I was drawing these baseball seams on the cups in my notebook in high school. And here we are today in 2022 with the seams on my cups. They're finally there. See that manifestation, infinite creation. You can do it too, trust me, trust me. Moving down along the cups, we have Long Island right here. And that, if you did not know, is where I'm from. I was born and raised on Long Island. I've lived here my entire life, except for the four years where I was away at college at SUNY Albany. So I thought, you know, that was a very important thing for me to put on there. Also, it shows you that I'm not from New York City. Not everybody from New York is from New York City. But, moving on to the other side, I do have the Ken YC logo stamped on the little cup. And me playing in New York when, you know, a long time ago when there weren't many Kendama players, I actually played alone for my first seven years of Kendama. And the first people that I met in the Kendama community that were, you know, other people that played Kendama were the Ken YC family. And to me, Ken YC isn't just a team of Kendama players. It is a family, it is a community, it is a group of people that uplift each other and support each other through Kendama. And you don't have to be from New York City to be a part of Ken YC. Me, myself, I'm not from New York City. I'm from Long Island, but I am still Ken YC. If you come to our New York City jams, I consider you to be a part of Ken YC, whether you're from the city or not. You're one big family, and I love every single one of you, and we support each other like it's the end of the world. And I thank you all for that very, very much. So I had to throw that little Ken YC right there on the bottom. And uh, I believe that is pretty much all we got with the Kendama. Uh, we can go into the sticker pack really quick and I'll show that off. As I said, we have the gold string. We have the nice big purple and gold sweet sticker. And then coming into the next spot, I wanted a couple more seals that were usable for the back of the Ken because like I said, I am all for seals over wood burns just from being an old head in Kendama. So I wanted to give you the option to throw a couple more seals maybe on the back of the Ken instead of a signature if you would like. Or even if you're not the biggest fan of the gold purple uh, Dandama seal, you could throw one of these on in replacement. And the only other request that I had with my sticker pack was to make sure that there was a Ken YC sticker on there. Back in the day when Ken YC was, you know, when it was first starting to gain notoriety and we were first starting to really push Ken YC, we had Ken YC stickers and we were slapping them all over the place. Since then, we haven't had much, but you buy a Ken, Ken, uh, a Ken YC Kendama, you buy an Austin Donovan Legend model, you will have a Ken YC sticker in your pack. And I would love to see those slapped all around the world. But without further ado, that is the Austin Donovan Legend model. 
I know you guys have all been waiting for it, all been asking for it. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Please let me know what you think, how much you love it, how much you hate it, what you think is good about it, what you think is bad about it. Any feedback, I am open to it. And with that, that is the unboxing video. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day. I love every single one of you. Thank you all so, so much for allowing Kendama to, to work its magic on you because it truly is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I hope to see you all very soon, if not at North American Kendama Open, somewhere else where our paths may cross. With that, I will give you a first tea whirlwind on the Amp Don Dama. I haven't played it yet. Here we go, and I shall give it to you right here. Oh, oh. Just kidding, second try. Oh, there we go. Austin Donovan, legend model, amp shape, go cop now, sweet skin downs. Mm. What up everybody, thanks for checking out that video. If you like what you just watched, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button and make sure you go punch that shop button and get yourself a new Dama. We have tons of other videos for you to watch, so make sure you go check them out. See you next time.